I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to delete matching rows from two different tables in Oracle database. So and here using Oracle for Oracle and currently working with Scott Schema and here I am using the table dpt1. So this is the record inside dpt1 and see the record inside dpt2. So this is the record inside dpt2. So I will delete matching records between two tables. So inside dpt2 10 2014 and inside uh, db2 1 10 2040 so this are add here or uh, these are matching values between two tables so let's try to query to delete the records so add here we need to use delete and here from so delete from dpt1 and here after we need to use where clause and here where clause so let's use dpt form and here dot so inside dpt1 we have three different columns so first is dpt number and one more thing we need to give add a bracket and here after let's use dpt1 dot the next is dname and here for dpt1 dot so next with lock so three column it's come from or dpt1 now here after in so in and here after let's use select a statement for second table so select or dpt2 so dpt2 so here or uh, now let's use dpt now here after first let's use add here from uh, from and here dpt2 now here let's use dpt2 press start so first is dpt number from dpt2 now here also dpt2 dot the next is dname and here again type dpt2 dot so next column block now here after let's use bracket. So this is the query to delete the duplicate of values from two tables. So first I'm going to show you the inner query output. So this is the inner query or we can say sub query. So execute that one. So this this is the, the output and record inside inner query here 10 20 40. And here after uh, delete from. So uh, delete from add here dpt1 d or d uh, dpt number and here d name and log. So add here this is now it's a uh, uh, this value is now going to in. So add here delete from dpt1. So whenever that font and here 10 20 40. So 10 20 40 is going to in. So this is the matching values. Okay. So uh, if you execute to this query, so from uh, select, let's start from dpt1. So this add here, I'm getting this all output. So add here in. So add here, this value is going to in this values. So this value add here, add here 10, 20, 40. So this value is going to in. And you have to delete from dpt1 where, or dp, d, dpt number, and here, and dname, and log. So if you execute this upper query, so this you can find and here this values. And here, so if you execute this all, so at here three rows deleted. Because at here whenever that point, so, so that to point that the value is 10, 20 and 40. So 40 is going to in, so in at here or uh, 10, 20, 40. So date from dpt1 where uh, the values it's come at here 10. For add here, dpt number is come 10, next time 20, add here 30. So this is the condition add here where 10, 20 and next is 40. Now let's see the record inside dpt1. So see add here 50 and 60, it's a display. And inside dpt2, so 10, 20 and 40. So this is the things add here. So this is the first way we can order it to the tables. Or matching records from the two different tables.
Now here after let's see another example. So add here, now I'm going to do add here, rollback. So if I did the rollback, add here, it's all records, it's now rollback to dpt1 and here in dpt2, so it's the empty. Okay, do you want it? Let's insert the record. Now here after, let's write the query. So query next query to so, uh, data numeric matching record. So add here use direct statement from or uh, dpt one. So dpt one add here. Dpt use where clause and here exits. So about the exits and in I already discussed. Now so, here after let's use select. So select the uh, star from the table name dpt here ok dpt2 and here after let's use where clause where clause and here dpt1 dot so one dot and here dpt number equal to dpt2 dot dpt number and operator and here after dpt1 dot dname and here dpt2 dot dname and operator so what the and operator if all the condition is matched then that return true so here I used and operator if any condition is not matched so at here this condition is dp number suppose match here dp dname match but at here if I am going to use lock so lock is not match then that return false so that will not delete any values so this is the query at here so select a star from here so this is the second way to delete the records so at here select a star from dpt so it's select a star from dpt now here we are dpt1 so if you execute this query dpt1 so at here 10 20 and 30 and dpt2 10 20 and 30 so 10 match at here 20 match 30 match so at here this value is match now that check uh, or 10 20 30 next to that check your developer because name so name of developer inside dpt2 and check dpt1 developer so if the match then that delete and here after that check also location so in our dpt1 the name is miami for developer and here in dpt2 so at here 10 the name is also match so if suppose if this all match then that delete okay now here after select a star from dpt where this condition so at here lock is not valid Okay, here I click in dpt2. Now execute one more time. So see at here matching value, it's a deleted. Now check the record inside dpt1. Oh, oh. So see at here 50 and 60 value, it's a returning. So all matching records, it's a deleted. So this is the one thing at here, it's a 10, 20, and 40 dpt number that uh, dpt number dname and location match so at here this return at here 10 20 for, uh, 40 so exits and you have to delete from the dpt1 so exits at here that return 10 20 10 20 and 40 40 like, uh, 40 at here or uh, values like uh, if you check the record in dpt or uh, two so uh, 10, 20, uh, 40. So at your 10 developer Miami, it's uh, all match. 10, 20 research uh, Dallas, it's match. 40 operation match. So at here this value is not returning this all. This query, this returning this all values and your exits. So this is the condition at here where or 10, 20 did it from the table, did from DPT1 where 10, 20 and 30 and this all those things. So 
wear condition so this value is matched then that did it so that here yeah, if i execute so it's returning 50 and 60 so 50 and 60 is not matched with or dpt2 so there is no any values of 50 and 60 in dpt2 add so this is the second way to delete the matching values from two different tables in oracle table so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you